All right, so starting off, you're gonna draw seven cards. You get to look at your seven cards and decide if you wanna keep them or put them back. If you put them back, you take six. If you don't want those six, you put them back, shuffle, take five. Uh, you keep doing that until you decide to keep your hand. Um, so we have, as long as you have I'll, I'll trust your... two, two lands, plenty for this deck. Um, because you've got uh, two cost, two cost, one cost. There's Great. a tripod over there. So, go ahead and kind of sort There's them out. We're doing an open hand, so mm -hmm. I can kind of talk you through stuff. Yep. Sort them. I tend to sort them by like mana curve and color, but yours is all red. Cool. Um, oh, and we're doing who's going first. So the way that you do this is officially is you roll two dice. So I got seven. Go ahead and roll. You got less than seven, so I get to pick. Uh, the person who goes first does not draw, and then it's you draw every turn. Okay. So I'm going to choose to go first. Uh, I'm going to play my land. All of my lands come into play tapped because they say it on the card. Okay. Uh, but typically lands do not. So I played my land. There's nothing I can do with it. I will pass the turn, and you get to draw. Ah, okay. Um, Wait a minute. Oh, God. Here, these are not yours. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's... <laughs> oh boy, it's going to be a red-blue deck now. Okay. Cool. Alright, so you get to play one land for the turn. Yep. Boom. You can yep. use that land immediately, or you can save it, but you have... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack, because that's what this deck does. Alright, so the only card that you have for one mana, this can destroy an artifact, which I don't have yet. But you have Shock, which will deal two damage to any target. So go ahead and tap your land, which mm -hmm. pays one. You spend the one on shock, mm -hmm. and it deals two damage to any target. The only target I have is myself. And then this goes That goes discard. away. Yep. Okay. But you are already uh, have already dealt me two damage. Uh, so it goes to your second main phase, where you have nothing to do, because you're out mm -hmm. of mana. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes to me, so I untap. I do any upkeep that I have, which I don't have any on my cards, and I draw. All right. Should switch this around. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Uh, so I got an instant that I have nothing to do with, but it needs black, so I'm going to play a land that has black available to it for a later turn. Mm -hmm. It comes in tapped. I have nothing to do with my one mana, and I will pass the turn to you. So I would... So draw. draw. So, you, so you untap. Untap. Boom. Upkeep, which you have nothing. Draw. Draw. Got another mountain. Okay. You land for the turn. Uh, throw it up for, or wait. It, Yours come in untapped. Yeah, mine, yeah. Are, mine are all fancy lands. Mm -hmm. All right, you have two mana available, and you have things to do with two mana. Uh, this is a creature that actually comes in with another 1-1 one, one goblin. So you can get okay. two creatures out on one turn. Sure. Okay, so you pay your two. Mm -hmm. Tap them. So you have two mana. You spend the two mana to cast him when he comes in. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we got the token, man. We're ready to go. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, they are both summoning sick because this is the first turn they're on the board. Nothing to do in main phase two. Comes back to me. I will untap. Upkeep nothing. Draw. I will go. Land for the turn, which is tapped. I have nothing to do with my two man, so I will pass the turn. Uh, put up. It, oh, un untap. untap. Upkeep, nothing. Draw. Draw. Cool. You get a land for the turn. Boom. And you've got three mana available to use as you see fit. Uh, you have another uh, creature that's a three cost. It has menace, which means if I want to block it, I need to do it with two or more creatures. I can't just put one creature in front of it to block it. Ooh, and you don't have any And I have no out. creatures. So I might as well attack. Yep, so you want to put him on the board, so pay your three. Yep. So you've got three mana in your mana pool. Mm -hmm. You can spend that three mana to play this card. Mm -hmm. It is summoning sick, but these two are not. Mm -hmm. So if you want to attack, you can turn them sideways, tap yep. them. Yep. That's two damage coming at me, and there's nothing I can do. Go to 16. Second main phase, you're out of mana, there's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. Back to me. I untap, there's no upkeep triggers. I draw my card. Holy cow, it's a low-cost minotaur. All right, 
My land for the turn is to play that guild gate down, and mm -hmm. I will pay a red, a black, and a whatever for Ragemonger. He's a 2-3 Minotaur. Minotaur spells that I cast cost a red and a black less to cast. Okay. So if they have both a red and a black in their um, casting cost, mm -hmm. he now only costs three mana instead of five. Oh, nice. But this guy, for example, because he only has a red, he still costs two. Okay. Um, so you need both. I need both. Or either one. For example, I just grabbed this one that only costs a black. He costs a black and a red less. Play another one. Doesn't cost me a thing, because he's one less. Okay. All right. Um, they're both summoning sick. There's no uh, nothing left I can do on my turn. I can't attack. I pass to you. You're going to untap. Now, with the monsters untap as well? Yep. Everything, everything that you have untaps. Unless okay. there's... Unless there's something that tells you that you can't. Can't do that. Okay. And then right. I draw? Yep. Alright. Land for turn, but you don't have any. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got three mana to play with. Um, you have a lightning strike, which can deal three damage to any target. You could target me, or you could target Ragemonger to stop me from getting that, that uh, mana reduction. Which would you do? I would do the mana reduction. I would I would get rid of Ragemonger. Okay, so I will uh, do that. So this gets discarded. So, so in order, with that in your hand, you're going mm -hmm. to tap three lands. Got That's it. going to add three red to your mana pool. You can, or actually, uh, it's only two. Okay. There you go. So you uh, tap the two. You're going to spend the two to cast Lightning Strike mm -hmm. on my Ragemonger. Oh, uh, yep, deals three. I can only take three. He dies. So that Discard. goes. Yep, that goes discarded. This goes to my graveyard. Um, all of your creatures are able to uh, attack. This creature specifically says that he cannot block. I'll attack. Cool. Uh, with everyone, or do you want to leave a blocker up for yourself? It is completely up to you. Mm. There's there's no right or wrong answer here. I'll leave one goblin up to block. Okay, leave your the, my, my the dippy blocking. goblin. All right, so you turn those other ones sideways. I can't block. I have three, four coming at me. I go to 12. Uh, second main phase. Uh, the only card that you can play is uh, to destroy target artifact, and I don't have any artifacts. So over to it's me. Over to you. Yeah. Okay, I untap. I have no upkeep, and I draw. It is unfortunate that I did not get a land, because this deck needs that. Um, I am going to... You have a 1-1 one, one Goblin, huh? I'm going to pay 3 red. For... Ooh, actually, yeah, I have to. Uh, 3 red... For Boros Reckoner. So he is a 3-3. Three, three. Whenever he is dealt damage, he deals that much damage to target creature or player. So if mm -hmm. you if you were to swing at me with a 1-1 one, one and I blocked, mm -hmm. he would take one damage and then I could deal that damage to you or a creature. Got it. Okay. Um, I can also pay a red or a white, either one, and give him first strike, so he'll hit before the other person. Mm, which means that whatever extra happens goes to me, right? Damage-wise? What it, no, uh, that is trample. What this means is, if again, if I blocked here, mm -hmm. let's say I didn't want him to even take the one damage. Uh, I would hit with my three before he, before your guy had a chance to hit. Right. So I get to go before you for damage calculation instead of at the same time. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's my um, that's my turn. I have nothing left to do. Pass to you. So untap. Oh, untap. Right. Boom. Boom. Okay. Upkeep and draw. Instant. Ooh, so you can give attacking creatures plus two plus O oh until end of turn, so they'll get two extra health. 
Or, I'm sorry, two extra damage. Damage. Uh, and that's all your attacking creatures. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I guess um, I would do that, but it would cost how much mana? It would cost three, which is exactly what you have. This deck doesn't need a lot of land. Gotcha. Four is, like, fine for the game. <laughs> um, so this would discard? So, it is an instant, which means you can play it any interrupting time. any phase or any part of any phase. So you could declare attackers, let me block, and then decide if you want to use that to change the combat. Ah, okay, so this 1-1 one, one would become a 3-1? Would become a 3-1, yes. And this would become a 6-2, oh my god. And, yeah, yeah. This would I, become a 5-2. Oh, right, 5-2. Then I would have to block with two creatures, and he can't block. So he, right now, is essentially unblockable. Okay. Because my this guy cannot block, he, it says it on his card. Mm -hmm. I have to block him with two or more creatures. I only have one other creature. Mm -hmm. Should we make the game go longer and me not play this? <laughs> it's up to you. I'll, I'll wait, because I want more time to okay. see things develop. Um, but you're welcome to attack. He can go in for free right now, and I can't do anything about it. Okay, I'll tap him. Cool, so he goes three coming at me. I don't have the creatures to block because he can't. So I will take three and go to nine. Generally, with this deck, if you can shove damage down my throat, you do it. Okay. Yeah. Just just because this doesn't want me to get set up. Mm -hmm. That wasn't necessarily like a bad move because it's a it's a safe play. Mm -hmm. um, goblins tend not to be the safe route. But I digress. Uh, it's your second main phase. You're out of mana. Nothing you can do. Yep. Over to me. So I untap, upkeep no triggers, and draw another land. Whoosh. And because you know what this deck does, these are actually five all different lands, which is fairly convenient uh, for um, Maze's End. Mm, okay. So I have four untapped mana. I'm going to tap uh, two red and a whatever. Why was the other one tapped? All of my lands are special lands that come in tapped, but they all have the keyword gate on them. There's So you've got five gates up now. I have five gates up. I have a card in my deck called Maze's End. If I can get Maze's End and ten different gate cards on the board at the same time, I win, regardless of my life. It's like assembling the maze, and this is all minotaurs, so it's a labyrinth. And they all say they come and tapped on them. And they say right on them, Demir Guildgate enters the battlefield tapped. Got it. Um, but all of my lands uh, on the upside all tap for one of two colors. So I can do this for red or black, blue or black, blue or yeah, red. Yeah, I saw the different colors on the cards. So this is Rage Blood Shaman. He's a 2 3 with trample, which means any excess damage over your toughness goes through to your life. Gotcha. Other Minotaur creatures that I control have plus one, plus one, and Trample. Ooh. So, he's a 2-3 with Trample, he is now a 4-4 four, four with Trample, and he is a 3-2 with Trample. Impressive. Yeah. And what is Trample? Uh, let's say he blocks here with a 1-1. One, one. I do two damage. He'll absorb one because he has one toughness. The remaining one will go through to his life total. Okay. It just tramples through the creature and does whatever's left. Conversely, if he blo if I block like this, he's now a 4-4. Four, four. He'll mm -hmm. absorb the 1, and 3 will go through to his life. Um, and you pick the fights. The defender picks the fights. So, oh, if, okay. so if you openly swing at me, I get to pick. If I swing at you, you get to pick. Okay. Um... But that is... Actually, you have two one ones, huh? I'm actually just going to go with this guy. So he is a 3-2 with Trample. Okay. If you let it... If you block with either... Oh, a point. So you can double block creatures. You could throw both of these guys in front of here to try to stop him. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't work. Like, in this case, you would deal me two damage, and that would be enough to kill me in this case. Mm -hmm. 
but because of the way damage works in magic, he is a 3-2. Mm -hmm. I would deal 3 damage to him, and 3 damage to him, which means 1 gets absorbed, you take 2, 1 gets absorbed, you take 2. Ah, so I don't want You to don't block want him. to double block him, you don't even necessarily want to block him at all, because you're only stopping one of the damage, and you're at 20. I'm at mm -hmm. 9. Um, so you have three damage coming at you. I would probably let this through just based on sure. you have one once. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, that is my turn, and I pass to you. So I untap my lands, untap my creature, draw. I have gutter snipe. Ooh, Gutter Snipe's cool. So whenever you cast an instant uh, spell, or an instant or sorcery, I take two damage. Oh, wow. Sorcery, instant, instant, sorcery. This represents eight damage <clears throat> that you can deal me without having to attack. At all, wow. Yeah. So he costs three, you only have three lands, I would put him out on the board before you do anything else. Okay, so how do I put him out on the board? Okay. Tap, uh, tap three lands. Tap your lands. Boom, boom, boom. You have three red mana in your mana pool. Mm -hmm. You spend the three to cast Gutter Snipe. And he just goes out on the board. Is he a creature? He is a creature. He's a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, he's summoning six so he can't attack. You generally do not want to attack or block with Gutter Snipe. You want him to sit on the board, and then you just... Your next couple turns... So how do I defend him? Um... If you had cards to stop it, all you have to do, if I'm attacking, is not block with him. Oh, okay. Just, I can't declare him, like, I can't go, I'm attacking him. I attack you, uh, and then you I decide. decide how I'm to block. I'm not even in there. I'm with you. Um, so he is just, don't even think of him like a creature. Mm -hmm. He is a card that has this effect and should not be I in combat. No. <laughs> um... But yeah. Uh, and then I'd be done, right? Because I've spent it, I've put him into play. Hold on. 